Temperature around about 22 degrees. Rigic gets the hand pass away. Hefferton on the Barnard on the Buick. Kicks inside 50. They come from everywhere. That's a great mark. Lloyd. That's as good a mark as you'll see in a situation where the player from behind providing the pressure, he knows he's got to get through. You can see Alessio and Dunkley in front. It was a really strong mark. Dunster-esque, that one, or Lockett-esque, if you like. Well, you can see why Essendon went out of their way to ensure they signed this boy up for an extended period of time, didn't you? What, what he did, he really just attacked the ball. The, other, the rest of the players just seemed to stop and prop and wait for the ball to come. Not Matthew Lloyd. He attacked it and attacked it hard. He'll kick from outside 50. About 52 metres. Oh, what a kick. First goal of the box. Rioli dispossessed. The ball spills for Long again, so Michael Long, two touches in that passage of play. Buick out wide. Buick's kick to within scoring distance. Lloyd at the back. I think he's got it, hasn't he? He certainly had his hands on it. Had to sit for a Well, I don't quite know whether he controlled it all the way down, but he's got his hands on it. He got a good grip of it. Yeah, yeah. What's most impressive here is that he's too deep here. He, he has to come back over Luff himself and also Stafford coming back. And so he's pretty much horizontal with the ground when he takes the football. That's, well, it, it that's only tremendous. spilled out of his hands when he hit the ground, didn't it? That yeah. is a great mark, Robert. Yeah, it was. Fantastic. Yeah. And other Stafford is about, what, six foot six? Terrific mark. Well, the footy fans love that stuff. Like some of your best dipper. So Matthew Lloyd going for his second from about 20 metres and he just pops it through beautifully. So two goals to Lloyd, two goals to Kelly. Yes, and then we'll run it out. Wallace, a little book onto McCurry. An open Essendon forward line. Lloyd, strong grab in front of Luck. Or over Luck. That can make a change there. Uh, yes, I think they've probably even just swapped a pair of them over. Dunkley and uh, Luff let them swap over. But, but when we look at the Sydney forward line, it just lacks confidence at the moment. The team itself hasn't identified who their goal scorer is going to be. I mean, Stephen Carey's got a bit of football for him, but three straight behinds following 1-4 last week. And Bomford there, he was the player who made the error, and he's paying the price now, heading towards the interchange bench. Whereas Essendon sweep it on down this near side, and because they've got a focal point, because they've got a name full forward, they were much more direct. Could be a two-goal turnaround there for Lloyd. Doesn't miss these. Hasn't missed that one. He's kicked his third early in the second quarter. So the free kick going Heffernan's way. Now Hardwick to half forward. Well, that's a bad sign. Crouch loses out. Lloyd kicks it off. He's got four. Yeah, and, and when the opportunities aren't taken in the forward line, other players start to lose confidence. And we just saw it there. Dunkley didn't have real confidence in going for that mark. Heston moving the ball very quickly from one end of the ground to the other. Alessio tries his soccer skills. Back to Long. Tackled by Maxfield. Ineffective. Bounce. Rioli. Footscray Robbo, we'd always do an opposition report, and one that was written about Michael Long by Mark Hunter was that he had eyes in the back of his head. <laughs> the Aboriginal boys know football and they know what's going on around them. Now we see it here in Dean Rioli. He knew if he was going to take the ball, he was going to be snaffled in the tackle, but just about to flick it on over the top. Great to watch, Dean. So a contest still at half forward. Heffernan back to Carousella. Carousella's kick towards full forward. Lloyd. Is that paid? Yes. He was up high on his chest and in the second grab was brought to ground and he could have six goals on the scoreboard before half-time. Don't think Mark McCurry uh, be too happy about it? No, I'm not, I'm not sure there's a mark in there. There's the heavy clash and Mark McCurry, the player, coming off with the blood rule. What happened to Mark McCurry was uh, caused in that marking contest which has given Lloyd the chance to go for his sixth goal. He should kick it. Six goals before half time. Good effort. Mercury again. And the difference. Nick B. Right on 50. He's bombed it high. Lloyd's there. Mark it down. Coming up for number seven. What a great kick by the young man there. Fantastic kick. Well, I think there were two or three uh, kicks that came in there. The last one was a good one, but 
Before that, uh, McCurry 2, uh, McVie, and earlier there was one that came from uh, another one of the teammates down there for Essendon on that far wing. Matthew Lloyd for number seven from 15 metres out. A gimme almost. And gets it. Well, the record by an Essendon player against Sydney or South Melbourne is 11 goals, four by John Coleman. Dominant. One goal, three to Stephen Carey. Certainly a badly needed one for Sydney. Buick out of the centre. Long kick by Boris up towards half four. Troy Luff there, well and truly covered. And what's impressive is that he's the first man up into the contest and gets first go at it, kicking off the ground. So McVie, long left footer, plenty of left footers at Essendon's forward line. Bennett in front of Lloyd. Lloyd gets back quicker. Will this be number nine? It is! Gee, it's good football down here. But that's his best effort. We only again, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You know, with the two youngsters, McVie, very good at half forward. He's, he's picked up a bit of football in this third quarter, as we see here. Always got eyes up. He's up looking at the game in front of him. And it comes around. Watch uh, here, Rioli. Just the deft little push there with the backhand of his right hand. Pushing on out in the path of Lloyd and being able to run back onto goal. Wellman. They might go down the ground on the far side now. Wellman's kick. Well marked out there by McVie. He looks a likely type too. The kick towards... Oh, great leap and mark. He jumped early again, didn't he? He's going for goal number 10. He's going to wind himself up too. And he's going to kick a bomb! You can raise to your feet, folks. That's fantastic stuff. Matthew Lord, 10 goals. And the quarter still has six and a half minutes to run. This is most impressive, and this young man he hasn't even turned 21 years of age yet. That comes up in a week or so's time, but he has just got the maturity beyond those 20 years of age. He, his understanding of the game is quite incredible. Back to the centre. Ten goals for the full forward, Lloyd. Long out to Fraser. Fraser at right half forward. Will he get number 11? He may. Lovely little in the back of his opponent and the umpire, I don't think he'd be game enough to stop this Peter it's spoiled for everyone John Coleman on two occasions kicked 11 against South Melbourne 11-2 back in round 2 at Windy Hill and 11-4 in 1953 also in round 2 at the Lake Oval this for number 11 Reckon you get number 12 probably a little bit later on to make sure of the record. No, 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 that kick. Is there anything like a full forward kicking goals to whet the appetite of the average Aussie Rules fan? Not a great hand pass. Now Blumfield again. A little doubt about that hand pass. Karasava, Barnard fumbles at the crucial moment, does well, comes back. The brute goes at goal. Sydney or South Melbourne, he'll break Coleman's record with this kick. Number 12. Well, Paul Barnard will have a word to say because it was a certain goal and he was rock. Hardwick, straight down the centre of the ground, he'll go long. Where's Lloyd? Not in this contest. Karasema, did he get the mark? No, he didn't. Troy Cook flips it up. Despite the one-sided 
regardless of the contest. Hardwick's long kick, travelled a good 60 metres, Terry. Yeah, Carousello is very good in there, but as Robert says, watch Michael Long here. Just a little deft touch on the up. 